Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial video. On this video we're going to be going over how to create an email marketing form. So first you're going to go ahead and click on the plus icon over here to add an element. You're going to go down to email marketing form, click on it, and over here you can select whichever style you want it to be. I'm just going to choose a regular one. And once you choose it, we can go ahead and edit it how you would like it. For example, it's appearance. Over here, you're going to see all the styles that we already have. You can create a new style or you can also edit the style that you're already using. On this page, you can edit the form label styles, the label colors, for example, and the form fields, the background color, placeholder color, the field spacing, if you want them to be more spaced, its height, if you don't want it to be that big. Also the border style, the border size, and all of this. Over here you can edit the style of the button and its color. For example, if I want to change it, I'll go to over here, choose this yellow or choose this green. Next up, we're going to click OK. And over here, you guys can see this before. It's basically the same information as of the other ones. You can select the subtitle font, also the font on mobile and the subtitle font on mobile. Once you guys do that, we're gonna go ahead and configure your email marketing form. And on this page over here, let's go back. On this page over here is where you can link it to Mailing Boss or wherever other platform you wanna use. But for my case, I'm gonna link it to Mailing Boss. Once you click on it, you're gonna have to put your public key and your private key. These keys you're gonna get from your Mailing Boss. I can show you real quick, let's just go on Mailing Boss. We're going to go down to menu and you're going to click on API keys. Once you guys click on that, your keys are going to show on the screen. I'm not going to click that on right now just because I don't want my private keys to be shown. So let's go back to the editor that we were just were. And once you guys copy it and put it over here, you're going to go ahead and click login. After that, it's going to take you to this page where you can select the list that you want your email marketing form to be linked to. I'm just going to click on tutorial. And once you click on that, you're email marketing form is linked to mailing boss if for some reason you guys want to change what the fields say over here you would have to go to mailing boss to do so i'm just going to show you real quick also you go over here select the the list that you want go to configuration fields and over here you can add a field for example if i wanted to add a last name add text field Oh, it was already saved, pre-saved over here. And you can add a tag if it's required or not. You would want to put this visible if you want people to see it. You can also have a sort order, for example, 0, 1, 2. This will show first, the second, and this third. You can also add a help text or a default value. You don't have to, though. Once you guys do that, you guys can go ahead and save changes. Go back to your HTML editor, go over here, click on configure, and just link it to the same list again. And then it was going to show like this. And just one more thing, guys. You can also change the URL. For example, the action that you're going to take once the subscribe is pending, once it's confirmed, or once someone is unsubscribed. So for example, you can select an action like a page, a web address, or an anchor. For all three of them, it's the same thing. And you can also select a language if you want to change the language. Another really quick thing, guys, is just over here on the button, you can select what your button will say. So, for example, you can change it like that. You can write the subtitle. This over here is just a more advanced usage. If you want to attach some HTML or also you can do custom codes. We're not going to do that right now. We're just going to confirm so you guys can see the change on the button name. And after this, you guys are pretty much done setting up your email marketing form. This is going to be it for this video. Thank you for watching and have a great day.